But with every new Pokemon game, there's a series of new moves added, and some moves are moved or changed. And with Legends Arceus, that's no doubt. There's obviously a ton of difference in the way the game works mechanically, and um, with the slow, strong style and agile style, completely changed the way that we play Pokemon. And obviously, there's no PvP, but I still wanted to talk about some of the moves that were interesting to me, and also the and how I expect them to affect future formats, and how I expect them to just function and how they also work in Arceus. So I think a lot of the moves in Arceus are the really good ones are the for the signature Pokemon. So I'll mainly be discussing, I, I will only be discussing the moves for the signature Mons, but I think these moves are really cool. And if they do make it to the next game and then we do get to see them in competitive, they could be really interesting additions. So without further ado, Let's begin. Number five is Bleak Wind Storm. This is the signature move of Tornadus. With the changes of dynamic speed, moves like Tailwind acting instantly make Tornadus a really, really top tier pick in competitive Pokemon. And a move like Bleak Wind Storm could be so huge for Tornadus. This would allow Tornadus to actually have a move when it's not being paired with something like Kyogre or Politoed to give it Drizzle. This would allow it to have a strong flying move that we'd be able to see it use almost every single time. Bleak Wind Storm. Um, does leave the target with Frostbite, and we don't know if Frostbite will continue, if this is a future thing. Personally, I think Frostbite is really, really cool, and I think it's a way better mechanic than Freeze ever was. So I think if Frostbite sticks around, this could be a really amazing move, as it does allow potential for um, Frostbite to be hit, and also it just gives Tornadus a really flexible move that it can use, whether it's in Tailwind or out of Tailwind. I think it's just a really, really cool move for Tornadus to obtain. And I, I do hope it sticks, and I think this is a very good, but like kind of balanced move. It's not not the worst move ever. Um, the accuracy is a little lacking, but it is does do pretty strong damage, and the ability to Frostbite is really cool. So I think Bleak Wind Storm is number five. Let's go to number four. Number four, I may be a little biased because Cresselia is my favorite Pokemon, but I do think the signature move to Cresselia, Lunar Blessing, is fantastic and a really, really cool move. So what Lunar Blessing does, it allows the user to heal its own status conditions and restore its HP. It's a better version of Moonlight. And I think in a potential future format with Cresselia, if there was no Urshifu, maybe this could see a lot of use. Um, it also does allow moves to miss so i think that's kind of neat i don't know if that will stick around but that is another great thing to do for stuff like calm mind cresselia this could make calm mind cresselia a true true menace the power points give it a ton of use you're able to heal multiple times throughout the battle so i think this makes cresselia really really cool and i think it could make cresselia um return to the meta in a little bit of a different way i think calm mind cresselia could really abuse this it removes status conditions such as toxic um because that was a way that a lot of players dealt with it obviously toxic is way less distributed but i do think that this could be a great move in addition to cresselia and maybe it could give it some use i love cresselia it's my favorite pokemon but i do think this could be really cool for cresselia if this decided to stick around next up number three is Headlong Rush. I think Headlong Rush is basically just a really sick move. The distribution is really low. It's just Torterra and Ursa Luna, but I do think in a future format, um, if more Pokemon were to learn this move, it could be really, really potent. Um, the effects of the move are the user smashes into a target with a full body tackle. It lowers the user defensive stats. It's a base 100 ground move with 100 accuracy. I think of it like close combat, but for ground types. Ground types have a lot of great moves such as Earthquake and Stomping Tantrum, but this would really kind of meet that middle ground where a Pokemon like Landorus could do tons of damage if it got this move. I'm not saying Landorus will get it, but if a Pokemon like Landorus or Garchomp got this move, you'd do a bit, be able to do a ton of damage to a single target and it would just be kind of incredible i think it would pair really well with earthquake as well you would just run double ground coverage ground is amazing type and i think it could be really really cool in a future format so um i think this move is just really solid honestly that's really all it is um it lowers your stats but you do tons of damage so i think it's a really strong move and it definitely fits number three for me but it's not nearly as good as number two wild bolt storm i think wild bolt storm is insane um, this move is really, really good. It's so I think obviously the signature moves of the genies, they've never had signature moves, but now they do. I think this move is really, really cool, especially for Thunderous. Thunderous is, oh my gosh, one of the best Pokemon of all time at this point. Whether it's paralyzing everything, whether it's being physical thunders with Dynamax, whether it's just being a strong special attacker with Life Orb, it really does it all. And this move would really exemplify more of the strong special attacker slash supportive thunders because you can use this on a supportive thunder bulky thunders because this move is really good. The move itself, um, 
you, the user summons a thunderous tempest and savagely attacks with lightning and wind. It may also leave the target with paralysis. So I think it's just a really, really strong option for thunderous as potentially getting that thunder with uh, that paralysis is huge. Um, with dynamic speed again, it's really nice that thunders would be able to move first, potentially paralyze with 30% chance, and then your opponent, your partner Pokemon will be able to prosper. And I think that's really cool. Um, it can be run on a variety of sets. It could be on like a strong life orb hitter. It could be on a more defensive set with Thunder Wave. I think this move is just fantastic and it's just a really cool move. And Thunderous is a great Pokemon. Um, obviously, if this goes on other Pokemon, it could be really, really good as well. But if it's just on Thunderous, even in the future, it's still a fantastic move. And I think it would really, really affect how Thunderous is run because I think they would choose to run this a lot of the time because it's just a great, great move. And finally, my favorite move and I think the best move in Legends Arceus is Sand Steer, Sand Seer Storm. This is the signature move of Landorus. Landorus, as you all know, is one of the greatest Pokemon of all time as well. Um, normally for the Therian form. But this move is mainly for the non-Therian Landorus, um, which allows Landorus to potentially get a different type of Earth Power that is doing a little bit more damage with the cost of accuracy, but could leave a burn. I think it's really, really cool, especially on a potential Sand Force team. Um, I think it's going to do big damage and it's going to potentially leave a burn, which is really, really great. It gives it a strong special ground attack, which normally Landorus is our run physical if you're running Landorus Therian, but this would be mainly for Landorus non-Therian, the, the regular form, origin form. But this would allow it to have another strong move. It would be really great on sand teams. It would just be a really strong move and I think we could see a lot of use out of it, especially on that regular Landorus, just for the big damage um, special ground move. And I think... Earth Power is a great move, but this move has a little bit cooler of a special effect, and it does a lot of damage. So I think this could be a really, really cool addition to Pokemon. I think these moves are really cool. There's obviously a ton of other moves um, that I didn't mention, such as uh, Chloroblast. Um, I think that move is really cool as well, depending on how it is um, implemented in the game. Also moves like Raging Fury or Mountain Gale. I think they're all really cool moves, and if we got to see them in competitive... Um, it could be a really, really cool addition to the game. But I just wanted to talk about those five moves. I think they're really neat. And yeah, that's really it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great and amazing day. I'll see you guys next time.